Good morning. I'm Pastor Corby Johnson from the United Methodist Church in Safford, Arizona. I'm so glad you tuned in today, whether you're watching on our Safford United Methodist Church Facebook or our website or my personal Corby Johnson. I'm so glad that you're here. We are going through the Proverbs and today is Monday, November 29th and we're on Proverbs 28. Proverbs 28, verse 7. Young people who obey the law are wise. Those who, with wild friends, bring shame to their parents. Well, isn't that the truth? Young people who obey the law are wise. Those with wild friends bring shame to their parents. I want you to imagine being in a group of teen, teenagers or young adults and leading them to grow into fine, upstanding members of the community who are hardworking, honest, and trustworthy. Just imagine. Now, I happen to believe that young people are unduly blamed for poor behavior. I know a lot of young people who are absolutely amazing. As an activity, I know that the Boy Scouts of America have been in a less than ideal situation with some of the leaders being charged with horrendous behavior toward the boys. It makes me angry and filled with sorrow I was a leader in the Tiger Cubs and Cub Scouts and Weeblos and Boy Scouts and it was one of the most precious memories that I have being with my boys as they were growing up. <clears throat> the leaders agree when you when we become a Boy Scout leader we agree to become role models and to guide the young people to live honest, solid, upstanding lives, to treat them with respect and kindness, and that it would be a positive learning experience. As an action, as a former scout leader, I still think of this oath that I took, the Boy Scout oath and law. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the Scout Law. Just a snippet of the Scout Law to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. The Scout Law has 12 points to it. Each is a goal for every Scout leader and every adult leader. Join with me today and pray for the young people who have had, who've experienced unspeakable harm and their families. Lord Almighty, we give you thanks for opportunities for our children and for us to become involved in young people's lives. Keep us on the straight and narrow. Allow us to lead and guide the children that you put in our charge to become kind, healthy, amazing adults. Thanks for joining me today, and I will see you again tomorrow.